Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Kair College of Engineering, Trichinopoli. This is another lecture on solution and discussion on gate question paper in the subject fluid mechanics and machines. This is lecture number 65. The topic is hydraulic pumps. So we take few questions from the gate question paper in the hydraulic pumps and we discuss the answers. The first question from 1994 question paper, in terms of in terms of speed of rotation of the impeller L, discharge Q and a change in the total head H through the machine, the specific speed of pump is. So we have to define specific speed. We have to give the equation for the specific speed for this equation for this question. The specific speed of the pump equal to n s equal to n into square root of q divided by h to the power 3 by 4. This is the equation for specific speed of the pump. The next question from 2017 question paper. Which one of the following is not a rotating machine? Rotating hydraulic machine. So we have four options centrifugal pump, gear pump, jet pump and the vane pump. So among the four, uh, jet pump is not a rotating machine. So, other three are rotating machine. They raise the pressure of the uh, fluid which is crossing the impeller. Whereas the jet pump is working on the principle of a jet. So, the jet of water is produced which, uh, which pushes the water to the higher level. So, jet pump is the answer. The next question from 2004 question paper. A centrifugal pump is required to pump water to an open water tank situated at 4 km away from the location of the pump through a pipe of diameter 0.2 meter having Darcy friction factor uh, for 0.01. The average speed of water in the pipeline is 2 meters per second. If it is to maintain a constant head of 5 meter in the tank, neglecting the minor losses, the absolute discharge pressure at the pump exit is there are four options given here. The correct answer is 5.503 bar. That is the answer. That is the absolute discharge pressure at the pump exit. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the length of the pipe is given as 4 km, which is 4000 4, meter. Diameter is equal to 0 0.02 0 0.2 meter. Darcy friction factor is 0 0.01, velocity of water in the pipeline is 2 meters per second and the head to be maintained is 5 meters. The frictional head loss in the pipe, H of equal to FLV square by 2 GD, so 0 0.01 into 4000 into 2 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.2 which is 40.77 meter of water. So the head loss due to friction. The pressure at the exit is equal to P2 equal to rho G into H total head, head to be maintained in the tank plus head loss due to the friction. So, we consider only the frictional losses, we neglect the minor losses. So, H plus HF, so 1000 into 9.81 into 5 meter plus 40.77, which is 449.05 kilo Pascal. It is a gauge pressure. So, the absolute pressure, we have to add the atmospheric pressure. So, P2 equal to 449.05 plus 501, 101.3. Uh, this is the pressure, which is equal to 550.35 kilopascal, which is 5.503 bar. That is the answer to the question. This is again another question from 2006 question paper. The horizontal shaft centrifugal pump lifts the water at 65 degrees Celsius. The suction nozzle is 1 meter below the pump center line. The pressure at this point equal to 200 kilopascal gauge and the velocity is 3 meters per second. Steam table shows saturation pressure at 65 degrees Celsius is 25 kilopascal and the specific volume of saturated liquid is 0 0.00102 meter cube per kilogram. The pump net to positive suction head NPSH in meters is, there are four options given, the correct answer is 24 meter. NPSH of the centrifugal pump for the given condition is 24 meter. So, we will see how in the next slide. The static head is 1 meter, pressure P1 equal to 200 kilopascal, V1 equal to 2 meter, 3 meters per second, and the vapor pressure 
uh, it is 25 kilopascal. The head at the section point H1 equal to P1 by rho G. So 200 into 1000 kilopascal to pascal 1000 divided by 1000 into 9.81 which is 20.387 meter. The velocity head due to the flow velocity V1 square by 2G which is 3 square by 2 into 9.81 which is 0 0.46 meter. The vapor head which is equal to PV vapor pressure divided by rho into G. So 25 into 1000 divided by 1000 into 9.81 which is 2.6 meters. So, the NPS HH net positive suction head equal to pressure head at the center line plus static head plus velocity head plus vapor head substituting 20.387 plus 1 static head equal to 1 plus 0 0.46 plus 2.6 equal to 24 meter. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2019 question paper An idealized centrifugal pump laid out radius is 50 millimeter consumes 2 kilowatt power while running at 3000 rpm the entry of the entry of the liquid into the pump is axial and the exit from the pump is radial with respect to the impeller if the losses are neglected then the mass flow rate of the liquid through the pump is dash kilogram per second round off to two decimal places so the answer is 8.11 kilograms per second so we will see how in the next slide so, theoretical head of the pump H equal to U2 VW2 by G. So, the outer periphery velocity U2 equal to pi D2 N divided by 60, which is pi into 0 0.1 into 3000 divided by 60 equal to 15.7 meters per second. For radial discharge VW2 U2, VW2 equal to U2. So, VW2 world velocity at the outlet equal to the peripheral velocity at the outlet. Then, H, is H equal to the head equal to U square, U2 square by G, which is 15.7 square divided by 9.81, which is 25.13 meter. So, the power of the pump equal to P equal to rho G Q into H, so which is equal to mg into H, rho into Q equal to mass flow rate, m into G into H. So, 2000 is the, uh, 2000 watts is the power equal to m into 9.8 25.13. Solving this equation, the mass flow rate of the liquid equal to 8.11 kilograms per second. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, you can subscribe the YouTube channel. Uh, you can listen to the video lectures of all the subjects for your better understanding of the subject. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture on the solution to the gate question paper. Until then, bye.